three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. All right, welcome to Roots of Reality. I'm your host, Ben Bauman, and today I'm going to be talking about the history of comedy. So throughout human history, comedy has been a form of entertainment where people can escape the difficulties of life and just enjoy a good laugh. Thus, comedy goes back thousands of years as an art form. The ancient Greeks created comedic plays, and in ancient Egypt, there were jesters who would act goofy to make people laugh, and also... Thousands of years ago, various societies also practiced ventriloquism, you know, where someone would take a a puppet and pretend it's talking, which is still somewhat popular today, as some of you listening may have heard of the popular ventriloquist Jeff Dunham. And since then, as a species, we've just been creating new ways to make each other laugh. For example, in England, you had the rise of the circus in the 1800s, where clowns were introduced to entertain people. And in the early 1900s, Following the birth of the silent film era, comedy films would start to emerge with actors like Max Linder, who would greatly influence another silent film star, comedy film legend Charlie Chaplin. And thus, this would pave the way for many more comedy films to be created in the post-silent film era, which would entertain people for generations to come. For example, there are films featuring comedians like Abbott and Costello and Bob Hope, And then, of course, later you would have famous comedy films like Dr. Strangelove with Peter Sellers, Blazing Saddles with Mel Brooks and Gene Wilder, Airplane with Leslie Nielsen, Young Frankenstein with Gene Wilder, Caddyshack with Bill Murray, Chevy Chase, and Rodney Dangerfield, Beetlejuice with Michael Keaton, The Breakfast Club with Emilio Estevez, Ferris Bueller's Day Off with Matthew Broderick, Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, Mrs. Doubtfire with Robin Williams, Dumb and Dumber with Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, Happy Gilmore with Adam Sandler, Meet the Parents with Ben Stiller, Rat Race with Rowan Atkinson, John Cleese, John Lovitz, Seth Green, Whoopi Goldberg, and Dave Thomas. And then there's also The School of Rock with Jeff Black, Elf with Will Ferrell, Tropic Thunder with Ben Stiller, Date Night with Steve Carell and Tina Fey, and the movie Spy with Melissa McCarthy. Another form of comedy, though, beyond film, is stand-up comedy. And in the 1940s, American comedian Bob Hope really popularized this type of comedic performance where people just stand up to a crowd and, and tell jokes and make people laugh and talk about funny situations that they were in. And this would pave the way for future comedians like Rodney Dangerfield, Richard Pryor, George Carlin, Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, and even more modern comics like Chris Rock, Dane Cook, Kevin Hart, Bill Burr, and Jim Gaffigan. Also, in the late 1940s, the first ever hidden camera prank shows were created. Um, The first one being known as Candid Camera. And this also set the stage for the beginning of the reality TV era. And prank shows would prove to be quite popular, so future ones would be coming out for later generations, like the Jamie Kennedy Experiment, Punked, the Joe Schmo Show, Scare Tactics, and of course the popular show today, Impractical Jokers. And other comedy reality TV shows like Nathan For You. Then, by the 1950s, comedy television would also merge with sitcoms like I Love Lucy, which would pave the way then for future sitcoms like Bewitched, Gilligan's Island, MASH, Happy Days, The Bob Newhart Show, Cheers, Black Adder, Seinfeld, Family Matters, Mr. Bean, Friends, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Home Improvement, The Office, Modern Family, and The Big Bang Theory. And lastly, by the 1960s, sketch comedy shows began to emerge as well, beginning with Monty Python's Flying Circus, eventually leading to other shows like Saturday Night Live and Second City Television. So with that, comedy has always been a huge part of what it means to be human and always kind of seek out things that can be funny in life. After all, life's not much fun when you take it too seriously. So with that, always remember, try to have some fun. And billions of years led to you, so make the most of it.